Intel and AS Rock just dropped a fresh update that could give your gaming rig a serious performance boost and who doesn't want better frame rates? Okay, so this is about Intel's platform power management driver, or let's just call it PPM driver for short. AS Rock recently reminded users to update to the latest version 1007.2024913, and they're claiming it can lead to up to a 13.23% improvement in gaming performance. That's no small number to me. Now, before you get too hyped, here's the catch. These gains were demonstrated using the Final Fantasy XIV downtrail benchmark. So, yeah, it might not translate to every game out there, but it's still a good reason to hit that download button. The Intel PPM driver is all about optimizing how your processor handles power. It dynamically adjusts your processor's frequency and voltage based on what you're doing, so if you're gaming or running something demanding, it cranks things up. If you're just browsing the web, it dials things back to save power. So it helps you get more efficient power management and better performance when it really counts, especially during those intense gaming sessions. If you're using an AS Rock Z890 series motherboard, just head over to the support and download section on AS Rock's official website, find the latest PPM driver and install it. The whole process is super straightforward. And hey, even if you're not seeing 13.23% gains in your favorite game, every little bit of performance helps, especially if you're running demanding titles or trying to squeeze every frame out of your rig. Now, here's the awkward part. AS Rock didn't provide much in the way of comparison data. We don't know what system specs they used or what kind of baseline performance they were comparing against. So take that 13.23% improvement with a grain of salt. But don't let that stop you from trying it out. Benchmarks or not, the update is free and it could make a noticeable difference in your gaming or overall system performance. This driver has been available for a couple of weeks now, but AS Rock's announcement came shortly after Intel's Robert Halleck hinted at some exciting updates for the Core Ultra 200 series. This driver update isn't directly tied to those announcements, but it's a nice reminder that keeping your system up to date is key. Okay guys, we all know that our previous video about the Windows 11 update didn't bring any good news for us. We just cried about bugs that really need to be fixed, but in this video, at least we finally have something to smile about. If you've been frustrated with File Explorer in Windows 11, I've got some great news for you. Microsoft is rolling out some much needed upgrades and trust me, these changes might make your life a whole lot easier. Okay, first up, Microsoft is testing a feature that some of the users have been begging for. Tabs in File Explorer. This is part of Windows 11 Build 22635.4515, which is currently available to testers in the beta channel. But why is this even important? What problem is it solving? Okay, this is it. Right now, if you open a folder from your desktop or start menu while File Explorer is already open, it spawns a brand new window. Before you know it, your desktop is cluttered with tons of File Explorer windows, and you can all agree with me that it's very annoying, just like when Chrome browser decides to just multiply itself a thousand times. Well, Microsoft is changing that. With this update, you'll be able to open folders as tabs within the same File Explorer window, just like in a web browser. Imagine having all your folders neatly organized in one window, no more jumping between countless windows to find what you're looking for. Now, if you're someone who actually prefers new windows, don't worry, you can still open folders in a separate window by holding the control key while clicking or double clicking. It's a small tweak, but it gives you options depending on how you like to work. Another thing we should talk about is OneDrive. If you've been using File Explorer in Windows 11, you've probably seen the Start Backup Reminder in the address bar. It's Microsoft's way of nudging you to back up your folders to the cloud, but let's be honest, this can also get annoying. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, because now you can manage these reminders directly from File Explorer. If you right click or press and hold on the Start Backup button, you'll see two new options. Remind me in one month. This snoozes the reminder for a whole month. Turn off reminder. This completely disables the reminder for that folder. No more digging through settings to shut these pop-ups off. Everything is quick and easy right there in File Explorer. So, back to the bug we talked about in the previous Windows video, you know that annoying issue where the drop-down menu in File Explorer sometimes appears outside the window? Yeah, Microsoft hasn't forgotten about that, they're working to fix it as part of this update. 